Over the past year, the boom in AI technology has made it much harder to tell if what we're seeing online is real or fake. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, there's no way I'd ever fall for it. Well, here's a cautionary tale. This weekend, a cousin of mine texted me asking if I could hook her up with some weight loss gummies. And when I asked what she was talking about, she told me she saw this interview of me being interviewed by CNN's Anderson Cooper. We decided to ask Joy herself, and this is what she told us. Hi, Anderson. I'm happy to have this opportunity to tell you my story. Two months ago, I saw an advertisement for NTX Keto Gummies. The website claimed that with the help of this product, you can lose weight by 25 pounds in four weeks. I decided to order three bottles. In the first few days, nothing changed. I was skeptical about this venture, but what was my surprise when my weight just started to evaporate? Okay, except that the thing is, I have never been interviewed by Anderson. I've never even met him. <laughs> Nor have I ever endorsed some weight loss gummies. This whole thing was a deep fake scam. Just ask my trainer, Coach Jazz. But this kind of voice cloning and video manipulation has become more and more common, including in the world of politics. Not too long ago, a video circulated of an AI-generated interview showing Hillary Clinton on MSNBC endorsing Ron DeSantis for president, which never happened. Another deep, deep fake shows President Biden insulting transgender women. Again, not real. And last week, the super PAC Never Back Down, which is supporting Ron DeSantis, aired an ad in Iowa using an AI-generated version of Donald Trump's voice. And it's not just politicians and people who are on TV that are being affected. It's also happening to everyday people. One Arizona mother is sounding the alarm after she received a scam call where she heard her teenage daughter screaming and crying for help as a man demanded a ransom. But it wasn't actually her daughter. These scammers were able to use AI to reproduce this 15-year-old's voice just by using her social media posts. So moral of the story, in a world where it is not only easier for bad actors to use this technology, but also easier to spread misinformation with no consequences. Beware of what you see and hear online. Stay woke out there.